السلام عليكم Is everyone here? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, we're going to start uh, Sunday school. Uh, does every uh, Does everyone have their uh, their Bible, Quran, and their you know Islamic books? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to get started. And everyone who has appeared and is in and is in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. I greet you all with the greeting of peace of Ayat Salaam Alaikum. Okay, uh, today for Sunday School, uh, we're going to start uh, start back with the name of Farad that we've been uh, thematically been discussing for the past two weeks. Does anyone remember what the word Farad means? Yes, sir. Who said that? Rafi. What does Farad mean? To obey. That is correct. Uh, no one else remembered that? No, sir. Hmm. Well, it seems you um, probably need to review your Sunday school lesson a little bit more often if you can't remember the, uh, what the name of God means. We discussed that for two straight weeks. Yes, sir. The word rod means obey. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Well, there's another significance to the meaning of the word for rod. It actually, the word for rod actually refers to uh, early morning. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so... Uh, the translation of the word farad into English means obey, but it also has a um, a reference to the early morning. So when you uh, are referencing the early mo- morning in the, in the Arabic language, the early part of the morning is called farad. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Have you heard the principle that a Muslim prays five times a day? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well. Yes, traditionally, and it, and it is correct that a Muslim generally prays five times a day. But according to the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, the one obligatory prayer that you're required to say every day is that it's 5 a.m. prayer, and this is called the Farad prayer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Farad is not only known as the name of God, it is also the name of the prayer that you are obligated, you know, once you learn it, to say it every morning. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So there's only, even though even though Islamic principles states that a Muslim uh, prays five times a day, that is not a pillar of Islam, meaning a principle. We believe in prayer, not prayer five times or 20 times a day. The principle is you believe in prayer. And the only obligated prayer that you are required to say uh, is the Farad prayer at 5 a.m. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I'm a little disappointed, you know, that you could remember the name, what the name meant. You know, it's very simple. It's obey. You know, so, um, you know, this week I want you to review the Sunday school lessons, you need to review them. If you can't remember what the one word means, we we haven't covered many words in our lectures, and you can't, uh, you know, uh, build a storehouse of knowledge if you forget what you learn as soon as you learn it. it you, then you're not getting anywhere. I mean, when you go to school and you learn how to write your name or you learn mathematics, do you forget how to add? Have you forgotten how to add your how to add numbers? No, sir. Yes, sir. Have you forgotten how to how to subtract? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Well, you're this is this is your uh, Islamic class. So if you're taught something, you uh, you do well to try to remember what you're being taught. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Because like in school. You know, if you forget what the teacher is telling you, 
when it's time for the test, you're going to fail. You understand? Yes, sir. It don't matter that you was in class every day with the teacher and you brought the teacher an apple. The teacher's going to give you an F. At the end of the at the end of class or in the school year, if you don't remember what she told you, you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, well you can't expect God to you know deliver you and and be your defender if you don't remember your lessons. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, just because you know the name for Rod and you don't remember nothing else, you're not studying. You're going to fail, meaning you're going to pass, meaning you're not going to be saved by God if you don't remember the word of God. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, does everyone have their message to the black man book? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, if you would turn to the chapter called 67, the morning prayer, if you look at the table of contents, and uh, I don't know what page number it is. Rafiq, what page number is it? If you, if you uh, look at the in the beginning of the book, it should you should see prayer service, and it should be the morning prayer. You should see a section called the morning prayer. Uh, let me see. Let me see. It's in the uh, you check you get on the table of contents, and um, you go to the morning prayer. You'll see it. You got to kind of go down. Page one hundred forty-six. It? Yes, sir, it's 146. Okay, everybody turn to page 146. Everyone's there. Okay. Uh, now, the, the page 146, the first the first word you should, should see is called, sh should say, Surely I have turned myself. Is that what you see at the top of that page? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I'm about to read it. Uh, it's the first couple, I guess the first paragraph, the first couple, few sentences. This is called the Farad Prayer. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. Now, uh, you got your highlighters, or I want you to make a note. Uh, so this week, I want you to remember this prayer. You know, so I want you to study it and be able to recite it to me next Sunday. It's a very, it's not very long, and you should be able to remember it. So I'm going to read it, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. This is called the Farad Prayer. It says, Surely I've turned myself, being upright, to him who originated the heavens and the earth, and I am not of the polytheists. Surely my prayer and my sacrifice and my life and my death are all for Allah, the Lord of the worlds. No associate has he, and this am I commanded, and I am of those who submit. O oh Allah, thou art the king, there is no God but thee. Thou art my Lord, and I am thy servant. I have been uh, unjust to myself, and I confess my faults. So grant me protection against all my faults, for none grants protection against faults but thee. And guide me to the best of morals, for none, for none guide to the best of them but thee. And turn away from me evil morals, for, uh, for none turn away evil morals but thee. Uh, one moment. It's written a little bit differently there. Um, actually, the Farai prayer is in the Message to the Black Man book in several places. Uh, but for the purpose of clarity, I'm going to read it exactly how it's read in this section because I was actually going from memory. But that's but it's a little bit different written on your page, so I'm going to read that last sentence again. It says, I have been unjust to myself and confessed my faults. So grant me protection against all my faults, for none grant protection against faults with thee, and guide me to the best of moral, for none guide to the best of best of them but thee, and turns away from me the evil morals. Well, actually, it's not written right. Uh, how, is it, how is it written there, Rafiq, uh, that last sentence I'm reading? Because the, the copy I have is, is, is not typed correctly. All right. Wanted... Can I start reading? Yeah, read, it said, I have been unjust to myself. Read that sentence. Yes, sir. 
I have been unjust to myself, and I confess my faults, so grant me protection against all my faults, for none grants protection against faults but thee, and guide me to the best of morals, for none guides the best of them but thee, and turns away from me the evil morals but thee. Okay, that's okay, that's what I got. This looks a little funny to me. Okay, that's called the Farad prayer. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, it's a very uh very simple prayer. It's, it may be about I don't know, four or five sentences. That's called the Farad prayer. That's the only prayer that you are obligated to pray to Allah. Do you understand? Yes, sir. There are other I made a prayer book and I, and uh, it appears that it has been lost when you guys move. I'm gonna have to um uh I guess get another copy together and send it to you. But there are other prayers. But this is the only prayer that you are obligated to say. It's called the Farad prayer. You understand? Yes, sir. And what I want, it, it, it is not, I, I don't need to tell you how to study. I'm sure you know how to study, how to memorize things. I want you, you got a week just to memorize these four or five sentences. And this is called the Farad prayer. Next Sunday, I'm going to have you, uh, from memory, during Sunday school, read the Farad prayer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Later on, as we go on, I'll go into the significance, you know, of the prayer. But that's not my lesson today. I want to point out uh, that the word farad, which is the name of Allah, which means obey, but it also re- refers to the prayer, which is called the farad prayer. All right. Now, uh, we for the past few weeks, uh, you've probably been hearing, uh, hearing a lot in the news about black men being killed in this country, and uh, in particular in Baton Rouge and in Minnesota. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Correct? Now, um, I want to bring some clarity to something. I also taught you um, that these men that were killed were carrying guns. Is that right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now, I am not saying, I want to make this, I want to make sure I'm clear, so I don't want you to misunderstand. I'm not saying that their murder by the devil or white people of them was right. I'm not saying that, um, uh, what am I saying? I'm not saying um, that's what God wanted for them. What I'm saying is that's a result, since they didn't obey the warning of God, that's what happened to them. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, you must understand, you know, when, when you think of devil. Or we, when we say white people are devil, what we are saying is that they are a doomed or damned race. So it don't matter really what they do. I mean, because if you are if you are truly the devil, you're going to hell anyway. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So he don't care what he does. Murder, rape, it don't matter because he because he figures he's going to be uh, he's going to be punished and, and damned anyway. So he he does what he wants because he don't care. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So today we're gonna briefly we're gonna briefly address the making of white people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh now if you watch any of the videos, I don't know which ones you guys have been watching, but if you watch um Here's Wisdom or or even uh Black Messiah videos, I, I went over in those videos a discussion about the making of white people. And for the purpose of Sunday school, I'm going to briefly address this. You know, uh, up until 6,000 years ago, there were no people on the planet but black people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. There were no Japanese people. There were no Chinese people. There were no white people. Everybody on planet Earth uh, 6,000 years ago was black. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And if you want to have some fun this week, and, you know, not that you don't believe your dad, but check it out. If you get on, after Sunday school, you know, if you decide to, if you get on the Internet, try it. Try Type in the ancient history of Japanese people or type in the ancient history of Chinese people. And you will find when you go back and uh, when you're looking at Chinese, artif- Chinese uh, art, uh, artifacts and their ancient history, if you do that on the internet, you're going to keep finding out that it, it keeps going back to 4000 BC. Once you hit 4000 BC, that's it. 
you know, the earliest records, the earliest dynasties, the, the their their art and their and their and all of that kind of thing, it don't go past four thousand BC or six thousand years ago. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You can see for yourself. It, it, I, I mean, I, I I'm not telling you something I didn't do. It's not that I didn't believe Elijah Muhammad. I I went and checked it out. I got on the internet and I said, "Wow, look at this!" You know, <laughs> their history don't go past six thousand years. You know. But you can see that now. Uh, but moving forward, move, moving forward here, the, uh, uh, the 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 white race they were made six thousand years ago, okay, and they were made by a black scientist named Yakub. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, and this is what happened. Yakub was a a black man that was born approximately, you know, roughly six thousand six hundred years ago, and he was a scientist. Okay, and he went to he went to the colleges and universities of his day. Okay, well, Yakub was a black scientist that was studying the DNA or the genetic makeup of black people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, when Yakub was looking at black people's DNA or their genetic code, what he found is that black people they have two germs in them. They have a black germ in them and a brown germ in them. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Look look in the room where you are. Look at Rafiq. Look at Diane. Look at Kamal. Look at yourself. Look at Amaria. You will notice that Rafiq is darker than any of you in the room. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And uh, I'll just use Amaria as in that. If you look, if you look at Amaria... Amaria is lighter than Rafiq, right? Yes, sir. But Rafiq and Amaria got the same parents. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so black, so so the the black woman or black people, we produce different shades of black. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now, so Yakub investigated this. You know, I'm putting this into a narrative form so you can understand it for Sunday school. Yakub observed the same thing, basically. He's seen that black people, when they had children, one came out darker and one came out lighter. One came out looking like Rafiq. One came out looking like Amaria. They came, they were dark and light. You know, the colors changed. You understand? Yes, sir. You say. So Yakub uh, investigated this. And he found the reason why this happened is that we have, you know, two uh, main genes in our DNA, and uh, which, which we call black a black germ and a brown germ. Now, Yakub discovered is that if he took the brown germ of black people and isolated it, and then if he took that brown germ and uh, engineered it, so to speak, to his final stage. If he can ice, if he can separate that and isolate it, and what we call graft it into its final stage, the germ would become white. Do you understand? There it is. Okay. So once Yakub discovered this, he found out that he can make another people out of the black man. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. One moment. Just a second. Come on here. Okay. Get your Holy Quran and open to chapter 2, verse 30. Well, chapter 2, verse 30. And when you find a page, Daim or Rafiq or whoever finds it, show the others so we can start. So open your Holy Quran, go to chapter 2. Starting at verse 30. Do everyone have it? Not yet. Okay. Let me know when y'all have it.
chapter 2, verse 30. I'm on it, thank you. If you, if one of you found the page number, then just tell the other one the page number so you can find it real quick. We did. Y'all have it? Sorry, it's having trouble. Yeah, she, she has it now. All right, we all have it. Okay. Now, what we're going to read is uh, the Holy Quran. Uh, a lot of the, the a lot of the things you are learning truths of what you're learning, they are hidden or they're kind of placed in in a hidden form in the Holy Quran in the Bible. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so part of the story of Yaqub, which we learned from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who was given this knowledge from Master Farad Muhammad, you know, uh, it's, 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 this is where in the Quran part of this story is located. Um, let's see. Daim, read verse 30. And when thy Lord said to the angels, I am going to the place a ruler in the earth, they said, Will thou place it, it place in it such a make mischief, mischief, mischief in it and shed blood, and we celebrate thy praise and extol thy holiness? He said, Surely I know what you know not. Okay. Now what actually now what this is talking about is the conversation that Yaqub as a child. Yaqub uh when he was six years old, when he was a a, a basically a little baby almost, he was playing with two magnets. And he noticed that one magnet had a magnetic power in it and the other mag the well he saw two pieces of steel. One of the one of the uh, pieces of metal was magnetized, and the other one was not. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So he knows that the one the one piece of steel that had magnetism was able to control and manipulate the other piece of steel. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So when he when he was looking at this, Yakub looked up at his uncle who was there in the room with him. And he told his uncle, he said, uncle, he said, when I become an old man, I am going to make a people that will rule you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And his uncle said to him, what you going to make in it? You know, somebody that's going to make mischief and shed blood? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, that's the conversation between Yaqub and his uncle, and it's kind of it's kind of hidden Right here in the Holy Quran, chapter 2, verse 30. So anyway, getting back to Yaqub. Yaqub discovered at the age of six that he was, you know, he he, had, he, he discovered his, his mission, his purpose in life. And he was going to make a brand new people that was going to rule the planet. And it was going to rule all black people. Okay. So when Yaqub, later on, when Yaqub became 18, he went to college. And he discovered, you know, as we were discussing before, that the black man had a brown germ in him and a, Brown, a black and a brown germ in them. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And he and he found out what, what he what he formulated is that if I could take that brown germ and isolate it and graft it into its final stage, I will get a new germ, a white germ, or a new people. Do you excuse me? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Then Yakub said, "Well, once I get this new man, if I'm able to put my ideas inside of this man, if I give this man my wisdom." He will rule planet Earth for 6,000 years. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, but what happened was, I'm going to give you the very short story because this is Sunday school. And you can read it for yourself starting on page 100 of the message to the black man. You can read the story in detail, but I'm just covering the, the highlights here. What Yakub did is that he, got, he gathered about 60,000 black people together and they went to an island called Patmos. And what happened was when people got married and had children, some of the children were darker than the other ones. Some some came out dark and some came out light. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So if the child on this island was born dark, like Rafiq, that child was killed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, then if a child came out a little lighter, like, say, Amaria, that child was allowed to live. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, this is how Yaku separated the germs. 
he killed the black germs or the black, the darker children and let the lighter children live. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, now when this went on for the first 200 years, all the children became brown. No, there were no more dark or black ones. Do you understand? They all became brown. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, when that happened, when all these babies became brown, that's where you get Japanese people from. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So it took 200 years of killing the blacker, darker children to make an all-brown people or all-brown race called Japanese. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, and when this happened, when they all became brown, most light people start moving to the east. The Japanese people left Patmos and they went east, and they are now settled on an island in the east called Japan. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, then for the next 200 years, the, the, since everybody was brown, what happened was they started killing all the brown babies, and the, and the light, the dark, so the darker brown babies were killed, and the lighter yellow babies were saved. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So they, so for the, for another two hundred years, they start killing all the Japanese. They start killing all the brown ones, and the, and the yellow ones were allowed to live. Then these yellow children or these yellow people were called Chinese people. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So you, for the first 200 years, they killed all the black, and you got brown, okay? And then for another 200 years, they killed all the brown, then you got yellow. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is how Yaku was separate. He was he, he was breeding. He was he was grafting or breeding. You can do the same thing with dogs. They breed dogs and horses. You know, you get one fast horse, you get another fast horse, you put them together, you get a, a, a baby horse that, that can run fast. Well, Yaku was was breeding people. He was uh, he was uh, he was he was basically he was you know as I stated before he was separating the people. He he was trying to isolate that germ so he can make a new man that would rule planet Earth. Now, so after two hundred more years, which is a total of four hundred years, you get a bunch of yellow people. We call them Chinese. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now, when this occurred, basically. The Chinese people began leaving Patmos, leaving the island of Patmos, and they went east, and they settled in a region called basically China. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So the Japanese people are 200 years older than Chinese people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so now the situation is this. On the Isle of Patmos, you have nothing but yellow people now, Chinese people. So what began happening? They start killing all the yellow babies. So when a baby was born, yellow baby was killed, and the white baby was kept. And this went on for 200 more years. And after 200 more years of killing all the Chinese children, you got all white children. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, and that's where white people come from. They they came out uh, through a grafting process uh Starting from black through brown through yellow, and you get white. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so you one of the one of the most famous things, one of the things that's associated are the sayings of Muslims that are black in, in America. Black Muslims, you know, people always say, "Yeah, black Muslims believe white people are devils," right? Okay. So let's address this now. Let me let me give you some help with this so you can have a grasp on it. Um, well, let me put it, well, let me skip, let me just get to the point. See, what was going on, children, during the, so this took 600 years. It took 200 years to go from black people to Japanese people, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then it took another 200 years to go from Japanese or brown people to yellow Chinese people, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Then go, then to go from yellow to white, it would take another 200 years. So that's a total of 600 years. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So what happened? See, what you have to understand is the nature of white people. You have to understand them, okay? 
they can't help who they are. They were brought here through the murder of black babies, through the murder of brown babies, and then through the murder of yellow babies, yellow, Chinese people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So they were born with that nature to conquer and murder other people. It, 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 it was even though they did, even though it wasn't a white person per se that was killing black people, that was killing Japanese people, that was killing yellow people. But they are the product of all that murder that went on on went on on that island. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So it's in their it's in their blood. It's in their nature. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll give you an example. Have you ever heard of a uh, a pit bull? Yes, sir. You ever, you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever what you say? Have you ever heard of a pit bull? Yes, sir. You ever hear of a you ever hear of a German Shepherd? Yes, sir. Hey, you heard of different dogs. You ever hear of a um, a Great Dane? Yes, sir. No, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Well, okay. Come on, I heard of a great name. Let me see. What, let me see a dog. Come on. Okay, come on. You ever hear of a rot, rot, a Rottweiler? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about the pit bull. The uh, uh, the pit bull is a breeded animal. He's bred. He 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 has jaws. He has a very very a uh, vicious bite. He's a very he, he he's 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 a he's a he's a bred dog specifically trained for fighting and killing. Do you understand? Yes, sir. He's a specially bred or made dog. He's a very dangerous dog. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Is so the the the, na- the a pit bull is his nature. It, it, he can't help it. That's just what he is. He's a killer dog. Now I'm not getting into the specifics of all this. Because you can hear many, many arguments that people say, well, they're, well, this type of pit bull is okay and that type of pit bull. So I'm speaking to you in general. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I'm trying to make a point. The point is is that you can see that uh, 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 animals or, or, be, or, or, or living things can be bred to be a certain way. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. What I'm trying to convey to you is this. White people were bred or made to be what they are. It's in their blood. They can't help it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now, the question, is, the question is this. You say, well, okay, you say the white man is the devil. Big deal. I know some white people that are nice. I know some white people that are this and white people that are that. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's talk about that because this is what confuses most black people. Because when you say devil, you think that okay, that this person is vicious and evil, and you know, and they're and you don't want to be around them. And they're scary. But then when you uh, when you're in Walmart or you go to school or something, and you and you see a white person, they're not like that. They're very pleasant. They're kind of polite, and they seem kind of harmless. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, this is what confuses people. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going I'm going to address this briefly. Now, what does the word Satan mean? Evil, evil, evil. evil. Okay. Well, Satan is another word for devil, isn't that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, actually, children, the word Satan means adversary. Do you understand? Boy, that repeat that again. Adversary, repeat that. The word Satan means adversary or opponent. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Like, uh, like if you go play basketball, you go play soccer, you have an opponent or an adversary. So Satan means opponent or adversary. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Does anybody know what the word Lucifer means? Isn't that Satan? Oh, Satan. Lucifer. 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 Right. Are you there? Yes, sir. Lucifer. Does anybody know what Lucifer means? Yeah. Okay, Lucifer is, that's true. 
Lucifer is another word for devil, but the word Lucifer means light bringer or, or light bearer. Do you understand? Yes, I said light bringer. Do you understand? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, number two. Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you say life or light too? Light. Light. L I G H T. L I L I G H T. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, listen to me very carefully. So you won't grow up confused. There, the the word Satan is another word for devil, and so is Lucifer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And if you understand these two concepts, you'll get a really great understanding of why people and what you're looking at. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, now, why people are devils? Okay, so you got Satan and you got Lucifer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But they but they're brothers. They're the same they 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 two peas of the same pod. You understand? Yes, okay, now who let me give you an example of Satan. Satan is like uh obvious. Like the like if you go back to if you go back to slavery, right? And you and your and your forefathers and your forefathers were uh were killed, hung, beaten, murdered by white people, right? Yes, okay, that's an example of Satan. Satan is, is the kind of devil that's in your face. He's obvious. It's obvious. He don't lie. He, he don't. He don't really lie about the fact he don't like you. He's not really. He don't fool you like that. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But it's, like, it's like in your face. You know this. You know that this white man does not like me. It's obvious. He's in your face. It, it, there's no doubt about it that this is my enemy. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now that that's that that would be an example of Satan. Lucifer is a little different. Lucifer is a type of white person that smiles at you and is very very polite and and acts very nice. He'll say hi, Naeem. Hey, come on. Hi, Mario. Hi, Rafi. How you doing today? You know, would you like some candy? Do you need some help? You understand? Know yes, sir. Yes, sir. You all understand. Oh, nothing. Sir? Nothing. We'll just listen in. Now, listen. Lucifer is more long-term. He's not really interested in killing you today. He's more interested in taking advantage of you and getting getting money out of you, take, taking your land. He's, just, he's more into total and, and utter manipulation and, and taking things from you. He's not really interested in just killing you today. Cause he, 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 but that's what Satan would like to do. Satan is the type that wants to murder you right now. That's what that wants to see you dead today. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lucifer is the smart one. Lucifer is the one that don't want to kill you today. Lucifer said, "Well, the average person lives about seventy years. Well, well, if I make him my, if I make him a slave, or I do this and that, he can work for me for seventy, a hundred years. I can make a whole bunch of money, and then I'll kill him. Do you understand?" Yes, sir. Okay, that's kind of the difference between the two. So what confuses black people is this. See, in in the in the South, black people were in slavery and living under Jim Crow and segregation with white folks in the South. And but 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 black people thought that that white people in the North, where you didn't have slavery, they thought those were nice white people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But those are not so much nice white people. That's the that's Lucifer, the Lucifer, the Luciferic white people. Those are the white people that have the. Those are the smart white people, the ones that got the power and the money that control and run everything. Okay, like for instance, where is Wall Street located? New York. Is that in the north or the south? North. North. Where is where is where is the uh, the White House, the president's office? Where is that? Is that in the north or the south? North. 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 Did you... the, Supreme, the Supreme Court of the United States, is that in the north or the south? North. East. Okay, so so the, the, the Pentagon, where they command where, with military intelligence, is that in the north or the south? North. Okay, so the intelligent white people, the smart ones, the, Lucif the, the Lucifer, 
the brilliant one, the one that, that's running everything, the one that tells Satan what to do, that one's in basic for, for purpose of Sunday school, that's the one in the north. That's the one that's that's the smart one. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, so what happened basically for for the Civil War, Satan in the South didn't want the slaves didn't want the slaves to go. And Satan was trying and Satan was trying to form another nation in America. But Lucifer outsmarted him. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Lucifer figured out a way to keep the the union together. So Lucifer said, "We're just going to let the slaves go, and we're going to keep this nation together, and we and we still going to rule." So Lucifer is Lucifer is interested in ruling the whole world. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Not just America. He wants the whole world. He's not satisfied with the South. He's not satisfied to be hanging black people in the South. Lucifer is interested in ruling the whole world. He has a bigger picture. He has he has a bigger objective. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so when you meet, so this this is so this if you learn this lesson, children, you will be ahead of many of your people in this country. This is what confuses them, because they meet nice white people. Okay, and that's an example of the difference. Now, there are some white people that don't know. They're ignorant. They don't know that they're devils. Do you understand? Yes, sir. They don't know, you know. But they, you know, but they just do evil things, or they they are a certain way, and many of them don't know who they are. They just have a, they just, they just a certain kind of way. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, but getting back to the lesson, I, I, I don't want to get too deep because I don't have time for this is Sunday school. So what I want you to understand when you're dealing with white folks. Is that they're they they're they're more they're lots of devils they're they're different kinds of personalities that all people had that all devils have but they're basically two types you got the one white man that where it's blatantly obvious obvious he don't like you and then you got another white man where everything seems to be okay the one that that don't like you and is real obvious that's like your your obvious adversary that particular devil is known as Satan but the one that that appears to be very nice very polite. And, and you know, seemingly treat you okay. He got longer term plans for you. That's Lucifer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, now get your Bible and turn to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 14. All right, I don't, I don't want you reading that other Bible. You just have to share one of those other three Bibles that you got. The, the three Bibles that oh, like the King James, or that other Bible is worded different, so we, you, we're we not going to use that Bible, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Y'all give me, come on, give me that Bible, chapter mm-hmm. 14. Yeah. Here's the verse. Right. Oh, look at that one. Oh, how am I going to get faster than you? Me? Yeah, how am I going to get faster than you? 9, 6, 7. Oh, yeah, shit. Everyone's there. Okay. Now, we're going to start reading in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, starting at verse 12. I want um, I want Diane to read verses 12 and 13. I want uh, Amaria to read 14. I want Kamal to read 15. And I want Rafiq to read 16 and 17. So Diane is going to read 12 and 13. Kamal, um, Amaria is going to read 14. Kamal's going to read 15, and Rafiq is going to read 16 and 17. Go ahead, Dane. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. 
I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Mark? <coughs> You're on the wrong 968. Just give her your book name. Amaya Reed, verse 14. Maria, 14. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be less by the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the height of the sin. <clears throat> they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake the kingdoms. That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. That opened not the house of his prisoners. Right. Now, we go back and read verse 16. It says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? Now, what did, what did the, uh, verse 16 call Lucifer? What did it call him? The man. A man. Now, did your father call the devil a man, or did the Bible say the devil is a man? Bible. Right. So, the question becomes, which man is the devil? See, when we were slaves, we were mistaught about God and the devil. We were taught that God was a spirit and the devil was a spirit. That they was not, you know, they were spirits that got into people and floated around. But, you know, if our people had just you know, had a, a little more wisdom and read the book for themselves instead of what they were taught, they were clearly told that the devil was a man. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, one moment. So we understand from the from the Bible that the devil is a man. Is that correct? Yes, yes sir. Okay. And we know, according to the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, from the from Master Abraham, that the white man is the devil. It is the man that the book is talking about. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now, I want to I want to read something to you about what they were trying to do to black people in slavery. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, for the purposes of expediency, I'm going to read this myself. But you can find this. In the in the book Message to the Black Man, chapter eighty two, under the uh, title "What Is Un American?" But I'm just going to read this. I want y'all to listen very carefully. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Now this is now this is what they were discussing uh, in the Virginia Congress, and I believe the year was eighteen thirty two. They were talking about the black slaves. Now, black people were free from slavery in 1865. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So this, so this conversation was, was taking place in the halls of Congress in 1832, approximately 30 years before the Civil War was even thought about. They were, this, is, this is the plans. that they, This is what they were trying to do to us. Now, quote, this is, a, this, is one of the, uh, this is a white man talking to uh, in the Virginia House of Delegates. He said, quote, we have, as far as possible, closed every avenue by which light may enter the slave's mind. If we could extinguish the capacity to see the light, our work would be complete. They would be on the level of, with the beast of the field, and we would be, set, we would be safe. Okay, do you understand? Yes, sir. Now, and then the, the messenger closed at the end of the session. He said, the above words, desires, and works against you are still in the hearts of the evil, bloodthirsty children against you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Let me, let me sum this up or put it in other words. Not other words, but basically what it's saying. As far as, 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 far as, uh, as, as early as 1832, they were trying remember, 
it was illegal. It was against the law for black people, black slaves in America to learn to read or write. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You could not go to school like you're going to now. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So it was, so they were trying to prevent you from uh, learning how to read or write or learning, you know, or, or obtaining knowledge on your own. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. But the what but what they were trying to do, what Lucifer was trying to do, remember this took place in the Virginia House of Delegates. Okay? So this 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 took place in in a high place, in a high office. When you're at the, the in the Congress or the House of Delegates, you are among very well educated people, college educated people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a this is a high highly educated class of white people talking to each other. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So this is Lucifer. They're not talking about we're going to go down south and we're going to hang up ten thousand black people. That's not what they were trying to do. They were trying to not only make laws to prevent you from learn, learning how to read or write, read or write. They were trying to figure out a way to biologically make it impossible for you to even for 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 the possibility for you to even learn so they can make you like a dumb beast of the field like an animal like you can't learn like you can't teach a dog mathematics you can't teach a dog how to spell he can only bark do you understand yes sir okay but but they couldn't figure it out they couldn't figure out okay we can we can pass laws to stop black people from learning how to read and write, write, but so far we have been unable to find a way to make it impossible for them to even learn how to read or write. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so what I'm trying to convey to you is, you know, uh, I'm trying to convey to you, you know, uh, the, 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 the level, the high level of wickedness and evil that you are presently under. Do you understand? Yes, sir. What I want you to understand is, you know, you're not going to meet, you know, it's, that's, that's, that's not the way that, um, that's not the way you're going to meet the devil. He's not going to be obvious like that. He's not going to walk up to you and say, hey, I'm the devil, watch out. He's not going to do that. You know, he's going to, he's going to, he, he'll pass, he, he'll pass laws and he'll have plans for you. You know, that, that's how he operates. He operates in high places with laws, with power. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, one moment. All right. Now, one other thing before we close. I'm going to teach you about the color blue. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now remember we were talking about uh when Yakub made the uh made the Japanese and Chinese and white people on the Isle of Patmos. Remember we talked about that at the beginning of the lesson? Yes, sir. Okay. Now when white people were first made, when they first were produced on the Isle of Patmos six thousand years ago, when they were first made, they 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 were they had white skin and blue eyes. All white people have blue eyes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Today, when you see white people, you know, some of them have blue eyes, some of them are green, some of them are brown. They got all different kind of eye colors. But when white people were first came came on Earth, when they first were born, when they first came here, all white people had, had white skin and blue eyes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the color blue... The color blue is what we call a deceptive color. Do you understand? Yes, sir. This is why we say that the color blue is deceptive. What color is the oceans? Blue. Okay. Have any of you ever been to the Riverside or to the Gulf of Mexico? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What what happens if you go to the to the Gulf of Mexico or to the Atlantic Ocean or or any blue water? If you take a glass and you stick the glass in the water 
and bring it out, what do you see? Is the water blue or is it, or is it clear? Clear. Clear. Right. The water's clear, right? Yes, sir. But when you but when you stand back and look at it, it looks blue, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. So you can see from nature. From nature, when you, the color blue is deceptive. What color is the sky? Blue. blue. Okay, we say the sky is blue. Now, if you get in a rocket ship, or you get in an airplane, and you keep going up in the air, you will never reach the blue sky. Do you understand? If you get in an airplane or a space shuttle and go up to that blue sky, what's, the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to go through clouds, you're going to keep seeing that blue, and then all of a sudden everything going to turn black because you're going to be in outer space. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So that blue sky will trick you. If you try to go touch it or go get it or get in an airplane or a ship and chase after it, you're going to run into black space. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So whether you go to the riverside or go to the ocean and, and, and try to grab some blue water, it turns clear. Or whether you get in the airplane and go in the sky and try to touch that blue sky, it, turn, it, it, it you, you end up out in a black outer space. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. So the color blue, we say, is untrue or deceptive. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, is turn, go to the Holy Quran and go to chapter 20. Uh-huh. All right, Dad, we're on chapter 20. Go to verse 101. You know when y'all have it. I'm there. There. Okay. I right. want um I want Rafiq to read verse one oh one and I want Kamal to read verse one oh two. Yes, sir. Yes. Abiding therein and evil will be their burden on the day of resurrection. The day when the trumpet is blown and we shall gather the guilty blue eyed one day. On okay. that day. On that day. Okay. So here in the Quran, it tells you about what's going to happen to those with blue eyes or the devil or white folks. You understand? Yes, That's better. They're going to be gathered in the day of judgment. They're going. The devil's going to be gathered together and judged on the day of judgment. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But notice the holy the holy Quran refers to the guilty as blue eyed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And what do we know about the color blue from nature? Um, what do we know about the color blue from nature? It's the Okay. And one of the one one of the one of the attributes of the devil or Lucifer, he's known as the arch deceiver, isn't he? Yes, sir. That's a... All right. Okay. Well, uh that's the end of this Sunday school lesson. You will do well to go back and listen to this again uh, and on your own time. Okay. Uh, are yes. there any questions? Are there any questions or comments at this time before we conclude Sunday school, children? I have two. Um, well, who said what? A dying has two questions. Okay, go ahead. What's your first one? What would have happened if uh, Yahoo separated all the black germs, uh, like they, he kept all the black germs alive instead of the brown ones? Well, if okay, if he if Yaku would have separated the black germs, he would just he would have had a, a people that would produce nothing but dark 
skinned black black. He would he you you would have a situation where you had a group of people, and the only babies that would have been able to be produced would have been black. If you just say, if you separate only the black germ from the brown germ, then when the genes mix and you have children, all the children will be dark. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, become another race? No, they've, they've been black people. No, but they, like... Dark, they, you, you, if you, breed, if you, what you're asking me, what would have happened if Yaku would have bred and separated the black germ? What would have what what, what 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 would have been the result? The result would have been you would have a bred people when they reproduce producing only black. Yes, sir. And my uh, second uh, question is: Does it mean anything that my favorite color is uh, blue? No, that, that that doesn't mean that you're deceptive or anything. That just simply means that blue is your favorite color. That, that that doesn't imply that you're deceptive or evil or nothing like that. I mean, who made who made the sky blue? Who made the oceans blue? Did God do that? Yes, yes sir. Okay. God made the sky blue. <laughs> nothing evil. There's nothing evil about the color blue. What, what, we, what we are studying is a spiritual lesson from it. Do you understand? That's all. I mean, uh, I like my one of my favorite colors. My favorite color is black, but my other favorite color is blue. I like blue. <laughs> I like blue. The the like Muhammad, like Muhammad. The Armalized Muhammad wore blue all the time. There's nothing wrong with the color blue. It's just that you know when, when you get into spiritual matters, and then you're and you're trying to teach people and identify somebody to them, you want to use when you try to teach them the truth. You show them from nature. You show you, you show them uh, 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 you show them proof. You know, you say the white man's a devil. The man has blue eyes. The fact that he has the, the fact that he has a blue eye does not make him devil. That's just a what you would call a um, a data point, an indicator. It tells you something about him. You know what you can expect from him because this man is walking around with a blue eye. And up until six thousand six hundred years ago, he was the only man on planet Earth with blue eyes. And if you see someone with blue eyes, what do you know about the color blue? It's a deceptive color, you know. And he has proven to be he has proven to be a deceptive person, you know. So the lesson from nature concerning blue is true when it's re- in regard to him. Next question. Well, yes. Do you think that there are other races? What do you mean? Other other races on planet Earth? Other races? What do, what do, what are you asking me? I don't understand the question. It's Earth. I'm sorry. Is Come that- on. He said he means instead of on planet Earth, do you think that there are other races? Like some Martians. Do, oh, are you asking me, do, are there other, like, races or other beings on other planets? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, there are. On the planet Mars, there are other, there are black people. Going to the teachings of the most unbelievable Muhammad, the people of Mars are black. Look, they, they're black like you and me. The difference is, uh, on the planet Mars, they grow to a height of about, I believe, seven to eight. They're seven to eight feet tall, and they are black. They're not like brown skinned they're like me and Diane. You know, they don't, they don't come in those shades. They are really, really black, dark skinned people. They're about seven to eight feet tall. That's due to the gravitational pull of Mars. You know, uh, I, well, that's my speculation why they're eight feet tall. Because the pull of gravity on planet Mars is not the same, or it's not as strong as the pull of gravity on Earth. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. And if you uh, now the white man is not going to prove uh, uh, as of as of today, the white scientists at NASA and other places in Russia they're not they're not providing the proof of this. They're hiding that up to this day. But if you uh, get on the internet and look at some pictures of Mars, just look at it. If you look at some pictures, you will see pyramids on Mars. 
you'll you know you'll see you'll see structures of buildings on Mars. Okay, you you'll see evidence that uh, of of intelligent life being there. What they will tell you is they'll give you all kind of answers. Yeah, but you, you can't expect the white man to tell you that not only are black people on planet Earth, they're black people throughout the solar system. According to the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, there are seven inhabited planets, you know. And from my own research, there are black people on the planet Saturn. There are black people on the planet Mars. But the difference between the black people on the planet Saturn, the difference between the black people on the planet Mars, is that the the black people on Earth, are the most intelligent, the most supreme. You know, there are other people throughout our solar system, but the most intelligent, the most technically, logically advanced people in our solar system are the people here on Earth. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So, yes, there are other people on other planets. They're not green men. They are black. And, you know, they call them marshes. Uh, coincidentally, before the moon was blasted, remember... Uh, I don't know if you watched that lesson. We talked about it, but 66 trillion years ago, when the moon was a part of the Earth, before the moon was blasted away, the planet Mars used to be our uh, used to be our moon. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, have you ever heard of the country called Cairo, Egypt? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard of the country called Cairo, Egypt? Yes, sir. No, sir. Okay, well, in, in Africa, in the country of Egypt, there's a city called Cairo. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. The word Cairo, the translation of the word, what it means, the word Cairo means Mars. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. And in Cairo, Egypt, you have pyramids. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And on the planet Mars, you have pyramids. And you got black people in both in both places. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So the word Cairo means Mars. So, you know, before the moon was blasted out uh, into space, Mars used to circle our planet, and Mars was our moon. And a lot or or God put black people on Mars, but they're not as intelligent as you are, you know, or the people of Earth. You know, they're not as smart as we are. You know, we are more intelligent than them, but they live longer than us. According to the messenger, uh, the people of Mars live about 1,200 of our years. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's because they obey a lot. They live longer. So we're too smart for our own good. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the word the word Cairo means Mars. You know. But anyway, that's your question, Kamal. I didn't I didn't mean to really go that deep with it. Uh, yes, there are there are other they're not really other races. They're black. They're other black people throughout the throughout our solar system. And I was not taught uh, about the rest of the universe. But I would have to assume that there are black people throughout the universe. But we are, but we are the gods of the universe. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We are the supreme gods of the whole universe, of the black people in our solar system and throughout the universe. We are the supreme beings, and the one amongst us, amongst us gods, we call Allah, or today we call Farad. He is the supreme. He's the god of all the gods. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, next question. Uh, what about the Indians, the red people? The Indians, the Indians are Aboriginal people. They are members of the Black Nation. I you know, so. they broke a law of Islam approximately sixteen thousand years ago. But Indians are Black people. They are. They are. are they are of our people. Oh. Okay. Next question. That's it. Well, um, to your question, Kamal, if you go watch Here is Wisdom parts, I believe it's parts two and parts three, uh, you can learn a little bit more about Mars. You know, about, you know, the, you know, about, 
there's just a lot there. It may be, it might be that those videos might be a little bit advanced for Ekamal, but you know, you 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 can learn a little bit about more more about Mars from from those from those videos I posted. But to answer your question, son, you know, yes, there are other there are other beings uh, throughout the solar system, and, and particularly on Mars, there are people on Mars, black people, you know. And if you know where to look on the internet, they got they actually I actually found a photograph. You know, but they but that's that's this is esoteric stuff. They're not going to tell that, you know. But there are people up there. Are there any other questions? Yes, no, sir. All right. Well, until next Sunday, you know, I will talk to you then. And remember to uh, memorize the remember the four eye prayer. And what you may have it memorized for next Sunday. And, you know, when when you're done, you know, throughout the week, review your lessons. Review what you're being taught. You know, do you understand? Huh? Do you understand? Yes, yes, sir. All right. If there's nothing else, I'll let you all be. I saw him like him. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> They got they got muted it, so I couldn't say another question. I can't mute. No, I was not. They got muted it, so I couldn't say it. I have another question. That was not me. So, hey, don't be muting him. You got let him ask his daddy a question. Y'all got some nerve. I tell you what, you mute him again. Y'all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute that PlayStation Four you trying to go play. Yes, what is it, come on? Uh, so did you say that um Satan and Lucifer are like j- two different people? Are they just a, are they just like one person combined? No, let me let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. How can I put this? Hmm. All right. What is your middle name, Kamal? Islam. If Islam means entire submission to God. Is that right? Yes, sir. Rafi, do you know what your sure. name? Do you, do you know what your name means? My middle name? No, your first. Well, not not there. Rafi, do you know what Rafi means? Kind ally. Kind ally. Okay. Here's what I'm trying to say. All right, Kamal, your name mean your middle name in particular means. Entire submission to the will of God. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. When I was talking to your mother about you, about you all a few months ago, she was telling me about your personalities. And, for example, she told me, well, she said, she said, Kevin, Kamal gets justice from you. You know, scales of justice. Kamal believes in, you know, right is right and wrong is wrong. Do you understand? Yes, Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that's a that's an attribute. Do you understand that you believe in justice? You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. The meaning of uh, of Rafi's name is kind ally or a kind friend. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, when you say Kamal Islam Muhammad, Kamal Islam Muhammad is a black boy. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Rafiq Nazir Muhammad is another black boy. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Although you're both black boys, you got different personalities. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now, so that means that if you are different people, that you would deal, you would deal with situations differently. Do you understand? Yes, you know, Rafiq may, you know, for example, Kamal, if um, if somebody, I don't know, Kamal, somebody comes up and snatches a candy bar out of your hand, you know, you might, according to your personality, you might, you might run up to him, get your candy back, and you might beat him up too. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Whereas, this is an example, whereas Rafiq, if somebody ran up and snatched a candy bar from Rafiq, Rafiq might handle the situation a little bit differently. Rafiq may may not even chase to get his candy bar. Rafiq may look at him, see what, what he looks like, 
and report him to the principal. <laughs> you understand? And, and, and get the and get the uh, the person that took his candy bar expelled from school, written up, in trouble with his parents. He may deal with the situation differently than you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But you both are black children. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Okay. So when I'm talking about Satan and Lucifer, I'm talking about two. I'm talking about white people. They 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 devils, but they deal with black people differently. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Like the Ku Klux. You ever heard the organization called the Ku Klux Klan? Yeah, the KKK. The KKK. You, you heard of them, right? Yes, sir. Those are very very bad white people, aren't they? Aren't they? Did you hear my question? Yes, yes sir. KKK are not, they don't like black people, do they? <laughs> That's the Ku Klux Klan. Do the Ku Klux Klan like black people? No, sir. Okay. The Ku Klux Klan would be an example of Satan. Do you understand? That's the kind of devils that the Ku Klux Klan are. Those are like, don't if you had to just give that devil a name, you would call that devil Satan. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's see. What's an example of a Luciferic organization? Well, let's talk about Planned Parenthood. You may not have heard of them. But I'm in the early days of... Are you there? Wait, that what you say? So have you ever heard of an organization called Planned Parenthood? Planned Parenthood? Yes. Never. Okay, it doesn't matter. The point I'm making is this. There are other white organizations like Planned Parenthood. At a certain time in the 1930s, there were white organizations that would come in the black community and have black women, uh, 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 what's the word? Um, I'm trying to think of the word. They, they were, they were, um, What's the word? I can't think of the word. But uh, when they were sterilized, they were sterilizing black women. Do you understand? Wait, that what sterilizing means? Uh, this Sunday school. I'm sorry. Uh, and I put this. Let me. Let me. No. Let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. That's 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 too that's too much for Sunday school. Oh yeah. Um, what's an example of a Luciferic organization? Um. Okay. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. Have you ever heard of the NAACP? NAACP? Yes. Um, I don't know. I think I heard it like a long time ago. Okay, hold on. Come on. Let me let me let me help you with this. You heard of the KKK? Uh. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm trying to give you an example of a, of, a, of a Lucifer. Okay, have you ever did you have you ever heard of Dr. Martin Luther King? Yes, sir. Okay, Dr. Martin Luther King was associated with a group called the NAACP back in the 1960s. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, let me let me try to make this very simple. Before integration, before the the Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s. Black people throughout the South had businesses. They had hotels. They had movie theaters. They had black taxi cab companies. They they had and they had they had black hospitals. Everything that basically for a functional white society had black people had. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, but. Even though the NAACP is thought to be a black organization, the NAACP was founded by white people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, but let me make this simple for you. See, the Ku Klux Klan, they will come to your house and burn a cross on it and take you outside and hang you from a tree. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But another white organization like the NAACP, they're not going to hang you from a tree. What they're going to do is institute policies and laws to take your money, to put you out of business, to give you a job working for them, like the NAACP did in the 1960s. So instead of you 
have your own black hotel, your own black taxi company, you don't get a job working for white people. Do you understand? Oh, so that. Yes. So you're saying the KKK is like the devil and the uh, NOACP is um, Lucifer? The KKK, both of them are devils, son. But, but there are two types, of, there are two basic types of devils. One is called Satan and one is called Lucifer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Satan is the type of devil that will tell you to your face, I don't like you. Don't move in my neighborhood. Stay away from me. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That's the devil, but that devil, that's the type of devil we will call Satan. He's your open enemy. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. Okay, Lucifer is my, how do you call you? Lucifer is the type, he's long. he's longer term. He's the type that will poison your food. He's the type that will put uh, poison in your food. He will, he's the type, Lucifer is, is, is bigger. He's like he's like a company like Monsanto. He will take like a seed, like he will take like uh, plants and make it so that when you plant, you can, when you buy this plant, you plant the plant seed, the, 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 the plant won't reproduce, it won't grow. He's like longer term. He don't kill you right away. He's interested in take, in ruling you and uh, taking everything you have or subjugating you. And I'm very having a very hard time getting this concept to you. But Lucifer, for for the purpose of this conversation, come on. Lucifer is the type of devil that acts like he likes you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Satan is a devil that will tell you in your face up front, I don't like you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Lucifer pretends to like you. Satan don't, but they're both devils. They both don't like you. Neither one of them like you. But Satan, you know, he, he, he wants to kill you right now. Lucifer just wants to use you. But they're both brothers. They're both devils. They, neither one of them care about you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And if I get you it. don't worry, then... As you grow up, you will. And, and don't mute that phone. Who else got something to say or got some questions? Um, yeah. No, I don't have anything to say. Rafiq? Yeah. Do you have anything to say? Yeah. Uh, Rafiq said that you have something to say. I'm listening. Here, Rafiq. You waited for you to say something. I didn't say I had anything to say. You did. You just said yes. Oh, that's oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't have anything to say. All right. Diane. Yes, sir. What's the difference between Satan and Lucifer? Lucifer is smarter than Satan, and Satan is vicious. What's he say? <laughs> Satan's <laughs> the type of uh, person to tell you that he uh, doesn't oh, like you. No, I, I said, no, repeat what you said. I didn't say what you said was wrong. I just want to make sure I heard you. Repeat what you just said. <laughs> Lucifer is smarter than Satan, and Satan is vicious. That's a fair, that's a fair explanation. I just thought that was, I didn't say that, and hear you regurgitate that back like that was pretty surprising to me, but that basically sums it up. Rafi, what's the Sir? difference between Satan and Lucifer? Lucifer, smarter than Satan, he's long term. Try to do to, you know, try to take your money without you knowing, you know, all slick. And Satan is just up front, kill you right there. I don't like you. <laughs> 